Tell it. Kurt. Hey. I've just been waiting to get in there for a while now. Who's in there? It's your son. Bobby. Margie's waiting. You know they done in there? I can't get any privacy around here. Okay, Margie. Bobby. What? Is your stomach okay? You seem to be spending more time on the toilet than you do at your desk. I didn't I didn't realize I had to tell you every time I want to take a dump. And if the worst thing about this job is having to tolerate my boss's dipshit cokehead son, well, it's a small price to pay. You need me to tell you when I'm gonna go pee pee? I'm just trying to get you to do your part, son. It's not easy times, you know. I do my part. I do other people's parts. But it doesn't matter to you because you just want to ride my ass because I'm your son. You know what? I don't hear you giving dick skin any shit. Dick skin. Nice. Kiss ass. Come on, come on. Yeah, go on. In you go. Go on, gay boy. I'm not gay. Please. I'm not. I've seen gay boys. Yeah? And you're one of them. Where'd you see them? I, at your house. Get in the fucking... I'm a green belt, motherfucker. What? Yeah. Yo, Dick Wall. What the fuck? What? Three hours late. What's the deal? I was at your father's funeral. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe that excuse would have fallen when my dad was here, but I'm in charge now. That excuse wouldn't make any sense if your dad was still here. Whoa. In my office now. Yes. <clears throat> Sit. Not a dog, Bobby. Good boy. I've been looking through the books, and you're the accountant. Tell me, why is this company in the crapper? Well, we're not in the crapper. It's a recession, but we're still profitable. Bullshit. Look, I know you and my dad were pals, okay? And frankly, I always thought it was, uh, weird, gay. Do you know what that word means? Yeah, it's dick on dick. It ain't my bag. I always thought it was a little bit weird that my dad thought you were so fucking special. But it doesn't matter now because he's in the ground, and guess what? I'm your boss. And there's going to be some changes around here. Can't wait to hear them. OK, first things first. Hospital bills. Larry Marinsky. Why the fuck are we paying his hospital bills? He doesn't even work here anymore. Well, he doesn't work here anymore because he had a horrible accident in our warehouse, all right? The guy burned off half his face. Exactly. I don't want my money uh, going to support monsters. He's not a monster. He's a great guy who worked for us for many, many years. Cut him off. Second. Envirotech waste management. What the fuck is this about? It's costing us a lot of money. Your dad made the choice to dispose of our chemical waste responsibly. In order to do that, you gotta spend a little more money. Yeah, fuck that. Guess what? The Bolivians are gonna do it for a third of the price. I'm gonna hire them. No, no, you can't go to them. Yeah, I will. No, you can't. I think do I will. That. No, they're, I think gonna, they're gonna endanger thousands of local residents. Oh, I give a fuck. Some local tribesman gets cancer, cry me a fucking river. They're not tribesmen, it's a modern society. Do I look like I fucking Okay, care? all right, look, Bobby, your dad told me very clearly that he would rather die than save money and hurt people, okay? Well, guess what? Looks like we're right on schedule, doesn't it? Okay, what else? Oh, yeah, we gotta trim some of the fat around here. Trim the... What do you mean by trim the fat? I want you to fire the fat people. What? They're lazy and they're slow and they make me sad to look at. You can start with large Marge. Marge, can you come in here, please? No, no Margie's not fat. She's pregnant. I'm not gonna fire her. Well, fine. Uh, stay where you are, Marge. Congratulations. You can fire uh, Professor Xavier. Who are you talking about? You mean Hank? Freaks me out, rolling around all day in a special little secret chair. I know he's up to something. I'm not gonna fire anyone. Oh, you're Bobby. not gonna fire anyone? No. Oh, really? Yeah, really. You know, it's like you don't care about this company at all. No fucking shit, I don't care about this company. Why, you, 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 this is just an ATM to me. You think when I was a kid, I dreamed of running a fucking chemical company? No. I dreamed of being on a beach with a model serving me tropical drinks. That's what I dreamed of. That's exactly what's gonna happen as soon as I squeeze every bit of profit out of this fucking company. But first things first. You either fire the fatty, or you fire the cripple, or I fire all three of you. Decision is yours. You can phone a friend, ask the audience, 50-50. Do the math. One loses the job, or three loses it. Your call. I think I know who you're gonna fire. And tell him to leave his handicapped parking pass when he leaves. You can't take that. It's issued by the state, Bobby. Well, this is, you're looking at the state. The state of Bobbyville. Okay? Deal with it. That would be a town. Bob. United States of me. Okay, there we go. It's all here. Hey, Hank, how you doing, man? Good. What's up? Um, we're going through a real tough time. 
financially. And um, we're going to have to let you go. Shit. I'm sorry. Everyone? Uh, can I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I've just learned that, uh, that Kurt has fired our dear friend Hank here. And I just want you all to know that I am just as shocked and angered as you all are. What are you doing? Please, enough out of you already today, my dad. On the day of his funeral, this is an accounting department decision. My hands are tied. I'm sorry. You are one cold, heartless bastard, but my... Hank, this wasn't my idea. Fuck you, Kurt. 